Well, it ran. I put the tune in it <clears throat> out of the IS-300 because I have 1,000 cc injectors and I fired it over and it kind of cranked. So I don't have a throttle cable. So I did kind of open the throttle a little bit. I'm still gonna have to have a starter or something. Um, if I put a jumper wire to it, it'll fire up every time. But if I don't, does this. It runs. Gotta get a throttle cable, finish hooking up the all the stuff. Yeah, the power steering line's leaking. I don't have it done. But I just wanted to see the crank over. Alright, here we go. All right, we're back at it. I brought some uh, new fittings. I actually found the Chase Base fitting. I had ordered another one, but then I found the one I originally had. I may have already said that in an earlier video, but I did. So I actually put it on. And that's the way it goes on. So you tighten this bolt and that will swivel. So this piece will actually swivel. And so I put on that and it goes under, comes around goes to the bottom of the power steering. I used my power steering that was on this, I guess from where somebody had swapped it before. And I just used a clamp, getting kind of crowded down here. I didn't know where to put, this is one thing I did. I didn't know where to put that. I did kind of fish through some stuff. I think I'll just zip tie it to that hose or whatever to keep it from moving. I wouldn't imagine it should come out, but just in case. I did shorten this fuel line to kind of get it to travel alongside that somewhere. I'll zip tie all that, try to clean that up. And I guess that'll go, the oil will go to it. But that's hooked up, power steering's ready. All right, still having trouble finding a boot to fit this throttle body. So, all right, here we go. All right, so a friend of mine came by and he's got a turbo Mustang. And he's done some tuning on it before on a different software or whatever well he went to making some clicking sounds on the laptop over there and uh, it runs a lot better it don't throttle up or anything anymore but he's got it where it idles and it don't smoke like it did let's take a look all right and thanks bud bud smith's who it was thanks for stopping by and getting this thing at least where it don't smoke so bad all right here we go
so it runs with no smoke um i guess now i got and that's without a throttle position sensor it doesn't have a, a intake air temperature sensor um i mean a lot of stuff still not hooked up i just wanted to make sure there's no leaks and there's no leaks um i've been doing this for a long time there's no leaks as far as i've seen i don't want to brag just yet but i've not seen any leaks and so now i have to figure out what size piece to go on a throttle body <coughs> how i want to run that and bud said he would weld the o2 bung onto the uh, exhaust pipe and what else was there there is the intake air temperature sensor has to be welded on an aluminum piece he also said he would do that for me too so <coughs> Yet I'm still sick, but that's that much that's done. And you know, the power steering, everything looks good on that. That's finished up. So the boot, the intake air temperature, throttle position sensor, oxygen sensor. And if I can't figure out why it doesn't want to start, this whole having to click it 400 times, I'm thinking it might be a ground. So I'm going to go through some grounds. I may add a ground here and there. Um, I'm hoping it is because if you run a 12 volt wire to, so like there's two wires on the starter, the big one that goes to the battery and then the little 12 volt one, that's your starter signal. Well, the starter signal, if you run a 12 volt to it, it will jump, it will crank every time, but it won't crank every time with the switch. You guys got to keep fooling with it. It's not the ignition switch because it tries, it just won't kick over. So I'm thinking maybe there's a ground issue. So maybe the computer's, you know, telling it there's not enough ground or something. You can hear it click at the starter. But if you use just ignition switch, it will just click a lot of times, probably 90% of the time. But if you go straight to it and jump at the 12 volt, it'll crank over every time. So <clears throat> I got to figure that out and put my fan switches in and stuff like that. So it's getting closer all the time. And then at some point, once we get all that done, we got to go get it tuned and hope it stays together. I don't know. So, all right, here we go. Wait. 